everybody. Welcome to an exciting new episode of Javier in the Air. This is Season 5, Episode 7. So, for those of you who have not been here before, welcome. Welcome to my little corner of the internet. Uh, for those of you who have been here before, welcome again. And to everyone, I want to say Happy St. Patrick's Day. Yes, you can see I am celebrating it in style, wearing over the green to celebrate this day. Uh, and the way I celebrate this day is I started off early by going to Krispy Kreme and getting my one green donut. No, I am not sponsored by Krispy Kreme. This is still a free show, no sponsors. Uh, so don't try to remove my show because you think I'm getting sponsored. I'm not, at least not yet anyway. Uh, got some groceries and doing some laundry the same old same old things that people do day in day out except i'm wearing a bit of green today so if you have an opportunity go out and get that one green uh one green free donut uh you have to be wearing green to get a free one uh, unless the light is on as we all know about Krispy Kreme. when the light's on you can go in and get a free donut so uh let's move on from non-sugary things because i do have some update about uh, medical stuff but we'll talk about that later on so um, are we gonna start off with my favorite your favorite everyone's favorite trash in the hood yes we are now at uh, let me see if I can find it out real quick we are now at week 84 and 85 when it comes to trash in the hood so I want to give a shout out to some of the people that stopped on the different in the two weeks uh, that I have been picking up trash since the last show uh, one of them actually offered me water one of them actually offered uh, uh, what do they offer like a fruit punch I think it was a high C or something like that I, I, I deferred on that one because I wasn't really I had just started so I wasn't really thirsty I probably should have gotten it at the end though uh, so I've been trying to walk further, walking into areas that I hadn't been in a while. I still do the same ones. Uh, and so for those of you who may not know what Trash in the Hood is, uh, about 85 weeks ago, I started walking in my neighborhood and picking up trash as I saw it as I walked through my route. So a lot of times, uh, and people have asked me this, a lot of times you're going to see the same route that I take. Uh, and by the way, I also take precautions to make sure that I don't um, get anything from the trash I pick up. I use gloves. I use a grabber to grab the, the trash while I'm walking on my route, gloves to sort it, and gloves when I'm taking photos, and then I wash my hands before and after my trip. Uh, so um, I do a lot of the same routes because those are heavily, heavily traveled routes. Uh, Hatch, for example, is very heavily traveled. Uh, traveled because it is a, a feeder road to connect between 620 and El Salido Parkway. Uh, El Salido Parkway is a heavily tra uh, traveled route that connects 620 to Cypress Creek. So I try to hit those um, at least every week and then I try to add additional routes in there like I like to go around Hatch Pond and I like to go um, onto the other side of El Salido uh, closer to Anderson Mill. Um, I do like to go up onto 620 and I do like to walk from 620 between El Salido and uh, Hatch. So those are parts of my routes. So if you see me out there wearing my uh, Tilly and Durable hat, which again, I'm not sponsored by them, um, then uh, honk your horn and say hello. Uh, if you want to get going and do something like this in your neighborhood, by all means, please do. Um, I'm not uh, authorized to say you should do it i'm not authorized to say much uh, but i will tell you that it is um quite fulfilling it's been 85 weeks for me so far i hope to continue this ad infinitum and i hope that i will uh impress other people that they may want to do that in their neighborhood as well uh, and all you have to do is grab a, a trash bag and a picker or if you want to use gloves be very careful uh, my roots, uh, the trash I picked up so far, nothing has been uh, like medical waste. I also don't pick up any organic waste. From time to time I may because it's wrapped in something, but I'm not going to pick up a banana peel. I'm not going to pick up an orange peel. And, um, and I hate to say that I've seen this because I've seen it a couple times, but I am not going to pick up used diapers that are thrown on the road. 
I'm sorry, I'm just not going to do it. So shame on you for throwing it on the road. I'm not picking it up. Uh, neither will I pick up full bags of uh, poo bags uh, for the dogs. Um, again, shame on you for not disposing it of the trash cans that are there. So uh, let's go ahead and just look at weeks 84 and 85, and then we'll get into the rest of the show. Dark Frog Social Media presents Trash in the Hood. Weeks 84 and 85. <clears throat> hey everybody. Welcome to week 84, day one. So this was one of the craziest uh, days that I've had. You see I found a little Thor's hammer, a little uh, hammer type thing. Um, there was some weird uh, vapes and a backpack uh, water uh, flow, the actual connection that goes from your mouth to the camelback, uh, and all sorts of crazy things. Of course, the usual... Uh, cigarettes I found like 47 or something like that it was crazy um, this is day two um, found some craziness a lot of food wrappers which I don't get why I mean it was almost a complete meal that was thrown out over the span of Hatch Road uh, don't know if they're eating it that quick or what's going on um, lots of paper that day um, a jelly jar of some sort top left and then, of course, the residual and the always uh, cigarette butts, plus some mail, too. So people, when you check your mail, you don't have to throw it on the ground. Just throw it in your trash. Recycle. Here's uh, week um, 84, day three. Uh, so it was a Kong ball, a, a towel, some more food stuff, uh, and a, the usual cigarette butts. Uh, just overall uh, craziness that I found. And then underneath everything, you see in that bit of yellow is an actual, uh, like another chamois. I find a lot of chamois that I'm sure come off of uh, trucks and all that. So that wrapped up 84. Here's 85. Now this is interesting. There was an accident on Hatch Road and El Salido. And all the little bits outlined in yellow are bits from that uh, car accident so they didn't clean it up at all All they did was sweep it to the curb and uh, my walking buddy and I um, are probably going to spend the next couple of weeks walking by that area and picking up more and more bits of trash this is all that we could do before it was time to move on we, we could be there for hours but I want to walk as well so here is day three uh, and day three you see that yellow circle which is not my doing that's um, like weed eater uh, cord that they that they have when they cut it off and all that sort. This was um, a high number of cigarette butts. A lot of food, but not as much as uh, the other day. What I did find here was uh, a lot of alcohol bottles. So somebody was enjoying day three. Okay, so there you have it. Weeks 84 and 85 of Trash in the Hood. So um, I had some new people uh, join us. Welcome. A couple weeks ago. Uh, and they asked me if I posted that uh, trash in the hood piece in other places as well. And I do. Um, every day that I pick up trash, when I sort it, I take a photo of it like you see here. Uh, but then I also post it on nextdoor.com, which is also why I say that this is a free show and has no sponsors. Um, because I keep getting that question from the admins. Not keep, but I've, I've gotten it before every now and then. Because uh, you can't, I guess you can't post if you have sponsors, but this is a free show, so we can do it. Um, anyway, the uh, yes, I posted there, um, and then I post like links for the show on, on Sundays and that sort of thing. Uh, but yes, I post the photos uh, every night after I pick the trash. Sometimes when I'm working from home, I will go at lunch because it's a nice break. Uh, if I'm working down south, then I will come up. Uh, after work and usually walk um, and get the trash picked up then so great questions thanks for that um, appreciate it if you have any other thoughts or comments about that sections just let me know so now we're gonna go ahead and go to our uh, Zen moment uh, and then we're gonna go into our uh, spirit times and then we're gonna wrap it up with our riddle me this so here is our Zen moment They say one is lucky when one has friends, and that's so very true. Always enjoy your friends through and through. 
laugh and be jolly and drink and see the bright side of things. For by doing so you bring yourself the greatest luck of all, that of being with friends. On this St. Patrick's Day, I tell you to enjoy all that you have. And hopefully you have lots of friends that bring you lots of laughs. So there's your Zen moment. I hope everybody has gotten at least a little chance to get out and wear over the green a bit. If not, at least go out into the green. I know uh, here in the uh, Cedar Park, Austin area, there has been rain on and off since Friday. Some really bad rain uh, last night. Uh, this morning it's been overcast with just a tad smidge of drizzle, uh, but otherwise it's just been overcast. But it's uh, warm and it's nice to be outside uh, if you can do it. Uh, if you can sit on your back porch or even your front porch. Uh, and you're covered from the rain, uh, sit out there and enjoy it. Uh, there's a lot of green out there. Uh, the rain is really helping uh, with things, though I think it killed some of my plants, which I'm not happy about. All the ones that I saw the other day don't seem to be there. So they either uh, got picked up by birds or uh, too much rain drowned them out. So let's hope uh, they come back. There was plenty of seed there. So if you're doing something green like that and you have a green thumb, like my neighbors at Pavlovsky's always seem to do, they had some great radishes today, which by the way, I'm totally jealous. Um, and you want to show off your garden, show a bit of the green that you have around you, uh, send me your photo or even a video stating who you are. You don't have to put your last name. Just say this is, hey, I'm Bob or whatever. Uh, or just Bob and tell, show me what you're growing. So it doesn't have to be in the uh, Cedar Park Austin area, but I just love to see what you're growing, especially if you're growing something uh, unique or unusual. If you're growing the regular stuff, that works too. Um, James and Zyder are doing fantastic growing uh, anything and everything that they that they can get their hands on, succulents and flowers and um, vegetables and, and all that. They are fantastic growers. And so if you have something that you want to show off as well, by all means, please uh, send it to me and uh, we will take a look at it. So um, now, um, well, before I go into that, so if you are a first time uh, grower and you, or you want to get into it, please uh, Google or go to your local library and they'll be able to help you out. Um, speaking of, I dropped off some uh, some donuts for the librarians at the Cedar Park Library who were actually working today, which I was a little like, uh, oh, they should have had off today. It's St. Patrick's Day. But as I went by and dropped them off, there was a ton of people there. So um, if you need to, you want to do some true research, you want to find some book that may not have been published in a while, the library will probably have it for you. Uh, now they don't use microfiche, I'm going to date myself on this, they don't use microfiche or microfilm anymore. In fact, they don't even have, um, uh, I didn't see any cards there uh, that you could look up. It's all digitized and um, on the computer. So if you need help and assistance when you go in there, just ask for help. Otherwise, you can just uh, go in there and wander around the stacks. It's uh, uh, I love libraries myself ever since having to, uh, during the summers, we would go to San Pedro Public Library, which was across from SAC, um, which I say it that way because if you live in San Antonio, you can say SAC, um, which was San Antonio College, or San Pedro High as we also called it. So um, get to it. Uh, this is a perfect time to do some planting. Um, any, almost anything that you want to grow. So uh, this is uh, Cedar Park Austin area zone 9A, I believe. So uh, 9A pretty much covers uh, pretty much anything that you want to grow. Uh, you just have to be uh, keep an eye on it and make sure that you tend to it. Don't just throw it out there expecting it to grow and you're going to have fruit the next day. Not going to happen. So anyway, check them out. Uh, and if you want to grow, send some photos as well of what you're growing legal stuff by the way um, um but send me a photo and i'll check it out all right so now let's go to our spirit time dark frog social media presents 
Spirit Time. This week, Barrel Aged Speedway Stout Coconut Vanilla Edition. Hey everybody, welcome to Spirit Time. So, uh, someone has asked me, uh, why do I call it Spirit Time? And it's because it's spirits. Beer, wine, or alcohol. Not spirits like, ooh, no. That's for our Halloween edition. Plus, speaking of special edition, I want to apologize to Brother Rob and to everybody out there watching the show that we did not get to an Irish beer tasting event uh, or had one at the house this year. Uh, so we were lax in that. I apologize. It came on us quicker than we thought. So we weren't able to get anything together. But we will be doing another tasting here. Um, probably in the next couple of months we'll get some people together. So I'm keeping the glasses on for this one because even though it's not Irish themed, it is green. So I thought it'd be perfect for the show. Uh, so this is from our buddies at Ale Smith Brewing Company out in San Diego, California. And again, I'm not sponsored by them, so this is a free show. They aren't paying for this review or critique. Uh, you see it's Barrel Aged Speedway Stout, their Coconut Vanilla Edition 2023. So I just picked this up a couple weeks ago. Um, they It says here, I'll show you the thing. It says, we've matured our Imperial Stout in premium bourbon barrels for an extended period of time and added coffee, toasted coconut, and a blend of Madagascar and Tahitian vanilla. So it's like a melange. Which, by the way, a uh, side note, go watch Dune too. It's friggin' awesome. Um, to create the perfect blend of flavors. Cheers. I interrupted that because I was excited about saying melange. Uh, that's one of the words I like to say. So, all right, glasses coming off. Okay, so um, you have seen a lot of Alesmith uh, on my show. And again, not because they're paying me to. It's just that it's they really have some really good beers. Them and 903 are also very prolific. So they put a lot of beers out, which means I'm going to be tasting a lot of beers, which means you're going to see me taste a lot of beers. Uh, so this one is 13.2 ABV. Uh, for those of you who want to equate it to something, a one of those... Coors Bud Light, they're like 4%. So this is like three times that. So it would be like drinking three beers all at once of those type, but you don't get the good flavor. So here we go. Um, I have a beer glass today. Uh, it's gone through the washer too much so that um, you can't see what the what it was, who, who gave it to me as far as brewery wise, uh, but it it works. So, I also had um, someone make fun of me tapping the top of the beer, which is very old school. I guess back in the day you were worried about uh, overcarbonation and it like fizzing up, which almost never happens anymore unless you really drop or really shake your beer. Um, but I do it anyway just because it's old habit. So, old being the key word. So, here we go. I'm definitely not going to get it all in the in the glass because it's a little bit bigger than the glass itself even though it's narrower. So a nice little head on there you can see some of the chocolate goodness. Uh, usually chocolate and coffee will give this brown uh, foam to it. There's other, th other, other ingredients as well and I'm sure a brewmaster is probably you know getting upset that I'm not naming them all. But I know these two do. So, um, uh, Brewmaster, if you want to come on my show and tell me how I'm wrong, please do. Okay, so let's uh, let's give it a smell test. You can really smell the the um, cocoa. Can't really smell the coconut. There's a bit of it, but um, and you can smell the coffee. Down the hatch. Happy St. Pat's. That is good. Good. Once again, Alesmith, you're doing things right. Don't mess with your brewmaster. Don't mess with your formulas. 
um, be sure and keep these around and, and keep putting them out. Yeah, they do a fantastic job on this. Uh, Brother Rob would love this, by the way. You don't get it, Rob. So, tasting a bit of the coffee, definitely tasting, um, um, I think, chocolate notes. Again, maybe I'm wrong and there's no chocolate in here at all, but you're confusing me if I, if I, there's not, which I'll look again and see. Uh, you know what? It's the vanilla. I, I am totally wrong. Um, I Forgive me, Ale Smith. Forgive me, everyone out there. It is the vanilla I'm tasting, not cocoa. So I can taste the cocoa at the end as a finish on the back end, uh, on the back of the palate. Um, I can definitely taste the coffee. And it's just the right combination that, again, Ale Smith has done uh, for many years now. A great, fantastic combination. Um, this is a heavier beer as far as taste and on the uh, on the old gut it's not um, it's not light so you definitely don't want to have this to start your drinking day uh, you want to do this as a finisher plus it's 13.2 so unless you've been drinking a lot of 13.2 uh, like brother Rob and I have um, then this is going to hit you pretty quick. So you want to save this for a end of night beer or something like that. Now, as far as pairing it with food, and I've been trying to do this the past, uh, actually this entire season, I've been trying to make sure I, I try to pair it with food. Um, because it is dense and filled with a lot of flavor, I don't know if you want to go with anything too... Um, too much. I mean, some people might think, hey, you could have a burger with this. I would not have a burger with this. Uh, that's a little too deep. I might have some, uh, maybe something uh, toasted nut-wise, like some uh, walnuts or even even salted peanuts, uh, lightly salted, of course, uh, no salt for me. Um, or you can have almonds as well. I think that will go well with the flavor. Um, you could probably have some chocolate with it as well. It's not a dessert beer, so to speak, um, but because there is great flavors of, of vanilla and coffee with it, you might want to go and uh, choose uh, something like that to go with it. Uh, let's try it again. Really good, really good. Um, so something just something that you can drink um and you can probably find this at the boutique not probably you can because that's where i got it from um again you can probably find uh i'm not probably again you will find a lot of the ale smith beer line of beers there as well scott carries a great uh combination of them so for this as always uh kudos uh, ale smith i'm going to give you nine thumbs up and awesome one of the better beers that um that i continue to have from them but one of the better beers of the entire show that's all five seasons plus the hundred beers that i did prior to uh building this show uh, which i'll talk about again in a in a couple episodes i bring that up a lot um maybe too much but there you go so um, if you have a chance, get out to the Brutique. If not, get out to your beer bottle shop. Or if you're in the San Diego area, you can go to Ale Smith and have some of their uh, coconut vanilla edition of their barrel-aged Speedway Stout. Uh, and there you have it. And there you have it. Uh, so yummy. Uh, I had to take an extra break so I could finish the beer. 13.2. Good stuff. All right, so um, that's almost it for the show. Uh, we have a segment of the show that I've been getting a little bit of feedback for. Wish I would get some more. Um, so if you're watching the show, please hang on to the until you get to the end for the Riddle Me This. So this is going to be uh, Riddle Me This. Okay, so here we go. This was Riddle 4. What is this? It looks like it could be, wow, just about anything, right? I know, it's probably too easy for some of y'all. So here it is. It is my side of the house where I have a lot of uh, stones that I use a lot of sand 
uh, to put in between the cracks. I just recently updated it the other day. So uh, there you have it. So now let's look at Riddle Me This for this coming week. Okay, so here you have it. Uh, week five, this is the cut. Uh, so what is this? Is that a mirror? Are we in a bathroom somewhere? Is this up on a plane? Uh, who knows? So I'm hoping that you will be able to make a guess at it. Uh, and it ties in with something I had to do this past week. So let's see what people can figure out. And there you have it, everybody. There's the show. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, uh, please let me know. You can re reach out to me via Facebook or Instagram. Um, not on TikTok. I'm not on TikTok. Um, you can also uh, reach out to me if you know my number. Uh, text me, call me, whatever. Or you can reach out to me on my YouTube channel, Javier in the Air. That's Javier in the Air. Or you can just uh, tag me using my um, YouTube handle, Javier in the Air 01, all one word. So um, I know the Riddle Me is trying, I'm trying to get it a little bit better, trying to work the kinks out on it. Um, I need to go more places so I can take photos. So uh, if you have a Riddle Me that you'd like to add to the show, by all means, please send me a full image of it and that reduced or whatever. It doesn't have to be large as far as, far as, far as size format goes. And then also send me a cut that you think would be great uh, for people to try to make a guess from. So I'm trying to see if, if this is going to something that's going to last. I will go through April on this. And if this doesn't seem to be taking off, I will see if there's something else I can add to the show. If you think there's something else that could be added to the show, plus I'm always looking for a co-star for an episode or two. Um, also looking for mom and pop uh, businesses that would like to be interviewed on my show. Um, if, if you are one of those, reach out to me and we will set something up. So I hope you enjoyed this show. I hope you are enjoying your St. Patrick's Day. Uh, please get out get some uh, green beer or a green donut or something green uh, just to celebrate it. Um, and if you aren't, then maybe you can order something in. So enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you have a good one. And I will see you again. Uh, oh, that's another thing. I think we are, um, I have been doing it every two weeks. And I think that's a good um, flow. So I think I'm going to do every two weeks from now on for a while. Unless people ask me to start doing it. Or unless I have a special episode. So I will see everybody soon. Have a good one. Thanks a lot.